Hello, Disney Infinity trainers. It's that time again. Welcome to our announcement for the round three wild card for the Disney Infinity games. For those of you who are fans of the series, I know that's probably our most popular series on the channel. And it's time. It is time for round three. Already, this round went by really fast. I think the reason that round two went by very quickly is because I uploaded up to you know five to seven videos a week <laughs> and so it really went by went by quickly and here we are so the way that we're doing wildcard for this round is a little bit different as you can see i'm on our wonderful iStarly tv little website right here i'm going to be giving you the instructions on how you can participate in bringing some characters back for round three wildcard so the way we're doing it this time it's a tournament a wild card tournament and what that means is that we're going to have characters fighting in an arena, of course, as we do. And the winners of this mini tournament, this is going to be a very mini series of, of a new tournament. Uh, those winners are going to move on to, to round three as wild cards. And we wanted to do it like this. The reason that we're doing another wild card is because after the end of, of round two, we have 24 winners. And... That doesn't filter nicely into into divi divisible. <laughs> How do I say this? I'm not a math person right now. It doesn't f divide by four in in a tournament setting. I, I know that's not the best way to say it, but basically, if you have 24 in a tournament in a single elimination tournament, then it goes down to 12, then it goes down to six, then it goes down to three, and that's the awkward part right there is that it goes down to three. So basically, our ideal number for this is 32. Because 32 will go down to 16, then to 8, then to 4, then to 2, and then the champion, obviously. So that's that's the way we're looking at it. In addition to that, one of the other reasons why we wanted to do this is because the Force Awakens characters came out a little later in the season. Uh, they came out around halfway in the middle of, of round 2. And of course we want to use those characters because they're awesome. So we felt like it would be kind of maybe a little forced to just throw them in the tournament and so we want them to kind of earn their spot. So that's why they're going to be participating in this tournament. Also because I know that there are probably a lot of characters that got eliminated this round that you probably think deserve a second chance. So I'm going to give you the instructions on how you can contribute. Now, we're doing it a little differently as well. This tournament is going to be a week-long series. So round three will be starting the week after this next week. This, this coming week is going to be the tournament. There will be eight fights. So eight fights in seven days, that means one day we'll have two fights. The other days will just be one. And 16 participants, and we're, we're dividing them into categories. There are four categories. Now this, you can read this right now if you'd like. Uh, you can go to the website and read it. I'm not going to read all this right now, but there are a couple rules and qualifications to for, for a character to qualify and, you know, participate in this wildcard tournament. The first qualification is that the character must have participated in both round one and round two. So that means, you know, Mike Wazowski, Mrs. Incredible, they got eliminated in round one. They are not eligible to come back. And that's because we want these characters to be, you know, the better characters. Uh, we, we don't, we want these characters to already have had a chance and potential, and now they're going to be able to use that potential again. So any character that was eliminated in round one cannot come back because it's kind of not fair if, if Mulan comes back and then ends up winning the whole tournament because she lost in the early round you know that's that's on her <laughs> uh yeah so the characters must have participated in round one and round two the second qualification is that the character cannot have already participated as a wild card so unfortunately all of the wild card characters that we brought back last round that got eliminated this round i'm sorry but they are out for the entire season now and that's another kind of fairness rule you know princess leia got a second chance in last set round's wild card and unfortunately she was eliminated by buzz this round and it would not be fair to some of the other characters if she got a third chance uh, that's just too too much for them so yeah those characters are cool they can come back in in the next season but for this season they are out so those are the two main rules and so now I'm going to go over the characters that are coming back. There are 16 characters coming back. We have 12 of them already selected. And then you will be voting for the remaining four. So let's, let's go through them. I'll go them, through them a little quickly. I, I don't want this video to be too long. 
Uh, first, the, the first category, as you can see, is the Force Awakens characters. Pretty self-explanatory. They're all awesome. We want to see how their potential can stand in the arena and how they can do against other good characters. So we want them to earn their place. And I'm excited to see these characters in action. I think that they can all be very powerful if used correctly. The second category is, of course, Dieter and I get to choose uh, two characters each. So that's four characters right there. Uh, Dieter chose Mickey Mouse and Spider-Man. Uh, you know, these those are characters that Dieter enjoys, and so those are they're coming back as well. And then I personally chose Ultron and Darth Vader. If you saw those fights, or if you know me, I love these characters. I think that they're really powerful, and then they have a lot of potential. Unfortunately, I don't think that their potential was realized, especially in this round. So I think they have a chance, and I'm definitely going to vote, vote them back. So these these four characters are coming back. And then the la the next four are random. So of the remaining characters that qualify, we randomly selected them in a number generator. And these were the four that were randomly chosen. Disgust, Olaf, Aladdin, and Phineas. So all four of these characters are going to participate in the wildcard tournament. And you may, may be asking yourself, okay, well, that's 12 characters. What about the other four? Well, like I said, this is where you come in. Once again, you will be voting to bring a character back. I'll show you the, the, the poll right now. Basically, though, the voting is going to be a little different. It's going to be a very short period of voting because we want this tournament to go for the whole week next week. And so because of that, the voting cannot be a week long because then we, you know, we won't have it done in time to upload the videos, obviously. So the voting is only going to be a few days this time and you are only allowed to vote once. So I encourage you, if, if you have friends that are fans of the series, you know, I definitely encourage you to, to encourage them to vote. Uh, you can only vote once this time. The, the voting will end on Tuesday, I believe. Today is Sunday. The voting will end Tuesday morning. So I want to say Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'll be posting all this info in the description. Uh, so you only have a couple days to vote. And like I said, because it's a smaller list of characters to vote from and because we want to get this done very quickly, that's why you only get one chance to vote. So I'll show you the 12 characters that you can vote for. Again, the, the four characters with the most votes will be returning to the wildcard tournament. So it's going to be a straw poll this time. This seemed easy to do. And it has their names listed. These are the characters. We have Merida, Sorcerer Mickey, Darth Maul. Minnie Mouse, Iron Fist, Wreck-It Ralph, Zeb, Baymax, Star-Lord, Hawkeye, Hulkbuster, and Sam Flynn. If you don't see a character's name on this list who qualifies, let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is everyone. Again, Hero, Princess Leia, Ahsoka, they are characters who already had the chance to be wild cards and they lost, so they are out. And then the other characters are characters that we chose or, or were randomly selected. So this should be the complete list of characters that we are seeing for that for this this wildcard vote. So get your votes in now. That's why I want to post this video fairly early on Sunday. Remember, the voting will end on Tuesday, January 12, I believe. And it'll be in the morning. So in, in the morning in Pacific Standard Time. Again, I'm in the United States. I am in the Pacific Standard Time zone. So... If you're in a different time zone, make sure you kind of adjust that accordingly to keep that in mind. But that is what we're doing. So I hope that covers everything for this wildcard tournament. We're really excited to get that tournament going. We actually did some practice games in the new arena to kind of see how that goes. So uh, we're excited. <laughs> we want to keep this series moving and, and we're just eager to see who that champion is. And I know we've had some really interesting fights. We've had some fights that are pretty controversial. We've had some fights that are just awesome. I know a lot of people were happy about Violet winning. Um, a lot of people were happy about, you know, other characters winning and stuff. And yeah, we want to keep that joy going. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. But now is your time to vote. Once again, you are only allowed to vote once. So... If you want to discuss with your friends and, and be like, hey, let's bring back this person, let's bring back this person, please do so. But the voting will end in a couple days. I think I've covered everything, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're looking forward to round three just like us. And if you want to feel free to share the video just to kind of get it going and get more votes for characters you like, you're more than welcome to do so. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.